In Blender, if you work with animations, usually we are going to use this panel, the timeline, to see the keyframes. For example, let's create an animation in the z-axis. So let's make this cube jump. So let's select it, press N, and go here. Let's create a single keyframe in z-axis. And let's go to 10. And for example, let's make it jump, something like that, and create another single keyframe. And now I'm going to copy the first one and paste it, for example, here. And now we have this animation. Let's cut this, for example, 20 frames. And as you can see, this animation, it's really boring. It's robotic, doesn't have an organic animation. So maybe you're thinking, OK, it's time to go here and go to Graph Editor. So now we can play with these keyframes. For example, let's select this handle and make it like that, and this one like this. And let's make this one up. So we have a better animation, right? But maybe later you're thinking, hmm, let's come back to timeline and let's move this because I want to make it a bit longer and maybe this one too, or maybe you want to add more and later you have to change again the animation. So you need to click here again and then go, oops, what's happening? I just lost the panel, so this is really annoying, always happens to me. So you have to go here, etc. This is really annoying and we waste a lot of time. So I'm going to show you a shortcut to go from timeline to graph editor without going here. And the shortcut is control tab. So with control tab, you can switch between timeline and graph editor. So you will save a lot of time when you're going to try to animate your animations. So remember, this is really important. When you want to work with animations and save time, just press control tab and you can see really fast the graph editor. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.